guys, what's up? It's Rich here, and today I will be making my first ever video on YouTube. So basically, what I'm going to do is I want to show you guys how basic the basics of Prime Games Prison is. If you want to join this server, make sure you just check down in the description because I'll have that down there. And it, anyways, let's begin this video. So I have vote keys, and the thing, how you get vote keys is from voting, and I will also have the link to the voting site down there, but it's also just right here. If I just turn the chat off, give it a second, and it'll all disappear. Vote for crate keys at vote.primegames.in. So if you want to just take a screenshot or something, just do that right now. should be good. I'll just pause the video if you didn't get enough time, but that's it. And then you could also buy more keys at the store that one being set in. But basically you tap it with the crate keys like this. And as you see, if I unmute chat now, I got $4,000 then $5,000. It'll say it right there. If I tap it again, I got... I got $10,000, but it didn't say. What's this? It is. This server also has custom enchants. I'll show you a lot of them at the end of this video. Or during the or something. But it says Overload 1 and Cactus 1. So, Overload, it gives you extra hearts. Every level 1 of Overload is 1 heart. And then, Cactus, if any players are near you, they will take damage. But you clearly should know. I'll show you where you can PvP though after I finish these keys. So I got 32 wood from them. Okay, so this bad boy is the rarest one of them all. I will save that one for last. So you start with 1k at the beginning. Okay, so I got more keys, and these are rare keys. So those are the third rarest keys in the game. And then the last one we get a bow. Alright. So, out of that, we got 16 carrots, 32 oak wood, a bow with volley one. I'll show you guys what that does in a minute. We also have an enchantment of implants on a diamond helmet. Now, in plant, in pa in pl implantments is an enchant where you don't need to eat. It'll fill your hunger up for you. Headhunter, you do more damage if you hit someone in the head, basically pretty simple and I can't believe I just got another legendary key okay all right and this bad boy has auto repair too oh my goodness that is all that's worth like 200,000 I believe all right so if I tap that again we got 30 diamonds although those aren't really helpful because if I run over to yeah shop and then armors the other is only 25, but if I swoop down here, it's only 400 and stuff for basic diamond armor. Alright, so now we've got the two legendary keys left. I'm excited to see what I get. Alright, so the first one. Holy crap, I got eight rare keys. And then I got a bunch of watermelons. Or melons in this case. Okay, let me just clear out some space. Okay, so that's all the basic stuff that we just got, basically. Alright, so I'll show you the enchant. Alright guys, I don't know what happened, but my recording must have stopped. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is do slash PV1, slash PV1, and this is how you have your own personal wall. I put everything that I got in there from the vote keys and I actually got a few more keys if they were going to stop before I got that. I got eight more keys and they were the rare keys. Alright, so down here is the PvP zone. They love to change up it. I think it's like every month, maybe something like I have no clue. But 
over here you have the speed shop and there's speed 10 no speed 1 for 10 minutes for $2,000 speed 2 for 10 minutes for 5,000 speed 3 for 10 minutes for 18,000 and then speed 4 for 10 minutes for 30,000 so the same thing here basically but for fire resistance and it's a little bit more expensive that's a hundred thousand dollars for fire resistance for five minutes so it's the same thing but actual fire resistance hey that guy's got a really cool head all right so if we go over here to in custom enchants okay there is wait can you actually open this you can that's nice Okay, so I'm just gonna turn chat off now because we don't need that in the way. Headhunter does more damage, and then grappling does it just grapples you, I guess. Also, if you're hearing weird noises, it's my cats in the background. I've there's healing, which heals other, which heals the opponent, the the person you shoot with the bow. Volley basically shoots more. I'm not gonna go over all of these. I'm just gonna go over a few. Life steal heals. Heals you whenever you hit someone. Poison poisons enemies. Backstab do more damage whenever you hit someone from the back. And then wither does wither, basically. Alright, so that's just the basics of it. I'm just gonna ignore what I just said. Ooh, these are rare. Oh, never mind. They're just normal pickaxes. But I will show you what to do whenever you get down here again. So before you go into PvP, you might want to grab a pickaxe, and I'll show you how to do that in just one second. What you want to do is slash kit, so slash kit, get those in my cats and stuff, and you'll get this. Now, from the start, you can only get pickaxe and axe, but if you go to the actual shop, you can buy coal, iron, gold, lapis, emerald, Diamond, Bedrock, Legendary, and Immortal. Immortal's the best one, and I believe it gives you fortune. I don't know. But this server has custom enchants, as you just saw. I love this server. I used to play it for like 10 hours a day when I had no life. And then school started up again, so yeah. I love my school. It's an amazing school. I won't say what it is, but it is in Rainbow. If you don't know where that is, it's in Belton, I believe. Okay, so what you do is you mine a lot. And then there's two ways you can sell the things that you just got. And I'm getting punched. Which is great. You could tap this person and then sell all of your stuff. And then you could also... Type in chat, slash sell space all, and then you'll sell everything, but of course I'm getting attacked. Oof. I guess I just died. There's an easier way to get to the PvP zone, you could just tap this person, but I didn't do that. But yeah, you come down here and then you basically just mine. I haven't been on the prison server in ages on my main account this is my alt account because i didn't really want to use that and show everything so i wanted to make it fair for the new player so i don't show off everything but if you do want to see my main account then just comment it down below um what should it be what do you just comment down main account if you want to see what i have on that I should show you the plot world, I guess. Okay, so here is my plot. Basically, what you do to get a plot is this. You do slash plot auto, and it'll TP to a random plot. And then you do slash, slash p claim. Why am I here? So basically, if you mine, you have a really good 
chance of getting some, um... I know I'm on fire, just great. Just, just, just great. Why am I here? Why am I here? Why am I here? But, and then you do slash, slash P, and lane. Now, of course, I can't claim this because it's someone's stuff, but... It's owned by me now? What? Does that mean I could break this? Yeah, it is bugged. What's going on here? Alright, well I'm guessing this is bugged, but now if I do slash PV, I, I have no clue what's going on. I'm just gonna do slash spawn. But basically, yeah, the basics of it is you do slash P claim and slash P auto. And then if you ever need help, there's loads of kind of players on this server that could just help you with any of your issues. And then there's mines. If you tap this, it'll TP to your mine. This is the first mine you get. And it's basically just coal and white concrete, I believe. I'm so sorry if the this is just all annoying and the bad quality if it is but bad quality. But if I go to slash spawn this rules. I you tap it and it'll say in chat, I just have chat off. Tap here and it'll teleport you to the enchants. It's basically just what I just showed you guys, but you don't have to type slash pit in chat. This is shop, just tap that and you get... Anyways, I'm getting off track. Armor's really cheap, and like really, really cheap. Tools are pretty cheap as well, it's the enchants that are the bad part. Okay, and then this is basically like where you can get stuff. This is like the basics of what you get to do whenever you buy stuff. I haven't bought a rank on this, but I am a destroyer rank, which I'll have to show you guys in another video. Okay, I think I've covered a lot of it. If you want to do slash rank up, it's basically just slash rank up, I believe. Yes, and then that'll rank you up to the next mine. And if you keep going and you hit Z, I believe it has emerald, diamond, and lapis blocks maybe? I think so. I've almost beat the... There used to be a parkour there, and it led all the way to like over there. I almost beat it, and then my finger slipped and I fell. I guess they removed that one. So basically, I'll show you everything that I got from the... The crates, I got Overload, Harvest 2, Unbreak, no, oops, Auto Repair 2, which is one of the rarest enchants in the game, you can't even buy it in shops anymore, and then there's Implants, Overload and Cactus, there's the dirt I got, the wood I got, the melons, and then the carrots I got, the sea lanterns, the diamonds, volley, and headhunter. I'll show you what these do. I'll walk over to this lady. Buy two arrows. So if I go to weapons and scroll all the way down, there's arrows. Arrows are extremely cheap. So if I buy two and then use the headhunter, and it's just normal, but if you do more damage with a headshot. And then volley. Volley is that, basically. It'll shoot more than one, and it'll only cost one. Now, implants. Implants basically fills your hunger without needing any food. You have to run around to do it, though, to fill up your hunger bar. Because if you just stand still, it doesn't work, I believe. Yep. So you basically have to run. There's help over here, and then there's also server list. Uh, I guess I could show you the server list. 
the Skyblock Presence patches, Survival, I'm a really big fan of Survival right now, it's what I play a lot, um, you may actually see me on my alt account, if you want to friend me, it's jeagle7a, and then there's also Kit PvP and Sky Factions, I can tell you one thing, not many people play Sky Factions, cause nobody really works on it that much, I believe, now creative, you get ranks and stuff from completing the, um, builds, and then prison is basically what I just showed you guys today, skyblock, um, it's pretty explanatory, all you really do is build out, you have the same exact thing basically, there's a pvp zone, you use crates, um, only real difference is instead of plots, you're in the sky and you're trapped on the tiny island and you build the better islands to look fancy in this. Factions, you make a team and you try to get to the top by killing others. And then kit PvP, you just have kits and you can PvP, basically. And then if I tap here, there's gang help and plot help. If you run over to, I guess, plot help first. There's all of this that you can help with, get help with. And I guess I could show you this one randomly. Slash P mid, slash P name, slash P remove helper, slash P reset, slash warp, P warp number, slash P warp, warp to a plot, slash warp, Slash P remove helpers slash oh wait I just read the same thing. Slash P set owner slash P under player and then if I do slash slash spawn There's also gang help. Dang, dang the lag is real. Okay, now there's also gang help. If you want to read that, just pause it, I guess. Alright, so in here, I'm not going to read this one though because I've already read the last one, but basically, there's a lot of help for if you need help at all. Whew, I'm out of breath from this one today, guys. My cat's knocking stuff over. I think that's actually going to do it for today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. And I just want to say goodbye.